Hello everyone, welcome back to Design Cafe Guides, an expert guide on all things interiors related. Now, if you are a new homeowner, I'm sure you can relate when I say that by the end of your project, there's a definite battle between wallpaper and paint between all the family members. Now, I hope this guide makes the choice a lot more easier for you. So stay tuned till the end of the video to know the pros, cons and all the details. And let us know in the comment section below if you are team wallpaper or team paint. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Why paint? Now for the longest time for Indian households, paint has been a default solution. The popular choice nowadays is immersion paint. This is washable, anti-fungal and it comes in various finishes like gloss, sheen and matte. Now, when it comes to textures and colors, there are also a wide range available, so a hand aren't tight either. Why wallpaper? The aesthetic charm of wallpaper has gained popularity in the recent times. This is also something that is seen in and out of trend. Well, wallpapers come in various different finishes. It could be vinyl, a paper bag, woven and more, you could also visit our experience center so that our expert designer can take you through some of this. These come in catalogs of the real watches so you can touch and feel and see how they really look. Let me tell you a little bit more about paint and wallpaper and the pros and cons and more. Here we go. Look and feel. Now the first and foremost thing that you need to identify is which out of the two paint or wallpaper goes well with the theme and style of your home. For example, here we're in a kid's bedroom with a fairly bright wallpaper behind me. Now, if not for this, if you had gone for a simple paint shade, probably this room would have looked quite boring since everything else is fairly simple. Both wallpaper and paint can create distinctive looks for your space. Now, for this living room, we've used a bright shade of mustard on one of the walls which is completely livening up this entire space. On the other side, we've paired it up with a subtle wallpaper. This is also a great combination that you can try for your home. Application Once you know what looks better out of the two, it's time to identify which one will suit better in your site in terms of application. Paint ensures perfect overall finish and also at the edges, but this would require a minimum of two to three days to get the job done because three coats are a must. Now, if you don't cover your furniture, window panes or your floor, this might stain and leave a mark. So keep that in mind before you start your work. Wallpapers can be applied quickly and easily with some basic tools and skills. But if air bubbles come, then your entire look and appearance might go for a toss. And also, if you have a very old house with uneven walls, then skip wallpaper. Paint has an even finish, but there might be quite a bit of difference between the catalog and the online swatch card and also the real paint. So if you just pick one of the paints from the online catalog, chances are it may look completely different in your space. So always buy sample pots and try swatches in your room or your space to see how it turns out. For wallpaper, there are no surprises in terms of shade accuracy. We usually select wallpapers from catalogs with real samples, so we know the actual look and feel of the final product while selecting itself. In terms of durability, paint can last a good time, up to 5 years or even more, and they're also washable. But with paint, in time it is bound to fade, especially when it's exposed to sunlight, and it may not have the same fresh sheen that it once had. Wallpapers can last up to good 10 to 12 years with proper care. Now, damaged portions can be redone with leftover rolls, so always make sure that you save the wastage from your wallpaper application. This is also prone to fading if it's exposed to direct sunlight, and if you use sharp objects, chances are they might also tear. Variety. Now, paint is available in every imaginable shade possible. The technology has improved so much so that you can literally take any image for inspiration to your local painter and he can pick the colors from it and create the exact same shade and give it to you for your home. 
Now paints are also available in different textures and finishes. With wallpapers, a variety of textures, prints and more are available but an exact shade like how you would get in paint may not be possible. But with these, you can also get it customized to a print that you have. You can just print it out and hand it over to your wallpaper vendor which they can print it on any wallpaper sheet. Paint is charged per square feet and it is definitely more cheaper when compared to wallpaper. Now, unless you go for texture paint, which is slightly more skill oriented, you will always save more for your entire house if you go for paint instead of wallpaper. For wallpaper, the costs come in all price ranges, be the cheapest or the most expensive, depending on the style and design that you go for. So here's the final verdict. If you want cleanable, washable surface, if you have pets or kids at home who might tear wallpaper, and if time and labor is not an issue for you, then go for paint as an option for your home. If you want to highlight one or two walls or fillers, if you are looking to have a quick fix solution for a rental home, or if you just have a damaged wall that you want to look pretty, then go for wallpaper. This is our take on wallpaper versus paint. Do let us know in the comment section below as to which theme are you on. Also, if you're looking for home interiors, you can click on the link in the description box below so our expert interior designers can help you with your dream home. Until next time, take care. See you all.